Hi everyone, and uh, welcome. <laughs> I hope you're doing well. I don't know what I was going to say. Last week I doodled these little houses and it was quite popular. A lot of you have done recreations of the houses and posted them to your Instagram. So I was able to uh, see them because most of you have tagged me and I decided this past Sunday to do a live stream and doodle painting slash doodle butterflies in the same vein as I did with the houses. So uh, I went on Pinterest and I looked up butterflies because I wanted to have a good variety of the different um, the different butterflies that are out there and I also wanted to have a side view so I went on Pinterest and I grabbed two photos that um, suited my needs and then I decided also to use orange and teal as a color palette which in hindsight <laughs> I made my life a little bit difficult with that because uh, orange and teal are great colors together, but if you are mixing these two colors while they're wet, they're going to create mud. So I kind of had to introduce another color because I was afraid that I might run into the teal and the orange uh, running into each other. So by introducing a red, then I was able to... Um, I was able to mix the red with the teal and the red with the orange. That gave me kind of a, more of an interesting uh, palette to work with. So you're going to see a lot of hand gestures in this video because when I record with the webcam during a live stream, the image is really not clear and I don't know how to fix that. <laughs> Meaning I don't really know my way around a live stream. I'm quite a newbie at that. So what I did while I was doing the art portion, I turned on my normal camera with which I usually record your videos. So it was recording at the same time that I was answering chat and doing all that stuff. So um, I hope you won't mind the, ha the hand gestures. I also edited the video so it might be a little choppy here and there, but I figured uh, it would be nice to show you the clearer version of the process those that have watched the live version and for everybody else who um, want to paint along with me i during the stream i also encouraged people to share their recreations using the hashtag um, doodle with cc and because i know a lot of you now are wanting to get into this creative practice of doing simple shapes and doodling over them and it's just a fun exercise um, and I think it would be also fun to be inspired by other people other than me so if you go on Instagram or Facebook and you use the hashtag doodle with CC then I'll be able to uh, do a search on the hashtag and see all your recreations and um, I'm hoping to post some of those to my story on Instagram and Facebook so it's always fun um, I feel that now and more than ever <laughs> during this time of crisis uh, we need to band together <laughs> and make sure that we stay creative uh, there's a lot of people that are uh, not working at the moment and they need an outlet so this to me is a perfect exercise because we keep it simple but we make it pretty with happy colors and some doodling and it's just fun to do so I'm going to probably um, put some music on and I'll come back if I have anything interesting to say <laughs>
I forgot to mention that as per usual, I will list the supplies in the description of this video. If you're watching on a computer, you just have to click on show more right underneath the window. And if you're watching on a mobile device, there is a little gray arrow underneath the view of the video that you can click and that will expand the description. I used two different gel pens to fill in some shapes and also to add some details to the doodling and they are by Uniball. They are the Signal Sparkling gel pens and they are so glittery. I have done several other pieces with the, these pens and they did not disappoint. They still flow very well and it's been about a month now that I've done the very first painting with this gel pen and the sparkly um, the sparkling bits are still there <laughs> so I'm quite happy with that and again these will be listed in the description as well and uh, right after this butterfly the dots were my idea but moving forward I was taking suggestions from the people that were in the chat so it's quite interesting to see all your suggestions and also how I managed to <laughs> pull through a few um, patterns that I had never done before uh, especially this one this was diamonds and I kind of struggled but I started by doing a plus sign and then I just joined each of the branches kind of like doing webbing in between so that um, they would look like diamonds <laughs> uh, but I got some interesting suggestions some of them of course I didn't have enough butterflies to do so um, I have taken notes and um, I will experiment some more because it's always fun to do
I really kept the butterfly shapes very simple. Most of the time it was just me applying pressure on the brush uh, to create the blobs. <laughs> I like to refer them as blobs because they're totally mismatched and I really like that look. I didn't want to make it hard on myself. This, The object for me was just to put down some colors and then go nuts with the doodling. I have to say my favorite butterfly 
has to be the one that I'm doing right now, which was a suggestion by my friend Sandra. Thanks, Z, for that. She suggested that I do mermaid scales, and that color was just perfect. <laughs> it was turquoise, and I decided to use the silver pen for that. So it turned out really, really nicely. I have added some uh, very high def photos at the end so that you can see the details quite closely because I could not uh, refocus my camera because the viewfinder was open in a certain way to hold my webcam and if I had touched the overhead camera everything either would have fallen down or it would have shake shook. It would have shaken shake shook you know what i mean it would have moved so i didn't want to risk the chance so what you're seeing right now is kind of like a cropped version of what my camera recorded so sometimes uh some tiny details are missing like the you know some of the size or top to bottom that may be not centered but uh you know uh, I think on the whole it's it's not bad so make sure that you check the pictures at the end because you will get a better idea of the butterflies and the designs that I added inside oh look at all that reflection isn't that incredible <laughs> it still looks this way um, two days after uh, we're just about wrapping this up I have one more butterfly to do uh, but before I forget, I just wanted to thank my moderator for that live session because I forgot to do it. So Katrina, if you're watching this recording, thank you so very much. You were amazing. Um, she helped facilitate everything and that was such a relief to have someone uh, that is watching out for trolls out there, which we had. <laughs> we had one. But uh, she did an amazing job and I also want to thank everyone who donated in the super chat. That was really, really sweet of all of you. Um, and I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone who came in and... Uh, appreciated the live session i know like i said at the beginning there's a lot of you who are not working some people are working from home but those that are at home and cannot work i know it's a big burden on you uh, both financially and uh, socially of course emotionally and we all need to um, find ways to remain uh, sane, <laughs> for lack of a better term. I just want to relate a little story. Um, as I'm recording this, it's the afternoon of Tuesday, and I might um, put a little video at the end. I live across a building that uh, is mostly for retired people, and of course, they are confined as well. And I in the middle of the afternoon, I heard music, very loud music coming out from outside. And lo and behold, one lady was on the balcony and she had her speakers out and she was dancing to some uplifting music. And that brought a whole bunch of people outside. And they also had someone, I guess an organizer, who uh, was calling out bingo numbers. So probably sheets were passed around during the day. And uh, they were actually playing bingo on their balconies, wearing winter coats because <laughs> it's pretty cold right now. And so some people from our building came out on the balconies and we just started dancing. And it was just such a joyful event i know uh it's been going around the world i know a lot of uh, people are doing that in different countries and i just want to give a big shout out to these people because they are just amazing and it also made me reflect on the contrast between where i live which has a lot of young people and then across from me people are older and yet they're the ones that we're ready to party <laughs> so <laughs> yay of course i danced uh to feeling hot 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 <laughs> with some other uh people from my building but it was quite interesting so i hope that you are exposed to some joy during this time i hope that this 
little creative exercise will motivate you, inspire you to just get your pens, your crayons, whatever it is, uh, and just, you know, put some happy in your life. So thank you also very much for watching. I also, of course, want to say a big shout out to my awesome patrons who support my art over at Patreon, uh, which is a platform where they get exclusive rewards such as extra videos and extra photos that uh, are not published elsewhere. So thank you also very much for watching. Please stay safe and happy and I will see, see you soon. Ha ha ha!